Eric and I peered nervously into the mouth of the cave as the faint, raspy voice continued to call my name from the darkness. The woods were quiet that night. I probably wouldn't have heard the strange voice at all if the crickets were chirping like they usually do, but for whatever reason, they appeared to have taken the evening off. The forest was dead silent, and only the sounds of my own heavy breathing and the unnerving call for help filled the air. We shouldn't go in there, said Eric. It doesn't look safe. Someone might need our help, though. We have to see. Eric grabbed my arm. Please, let's just stay out here. I shook him off, turned on my flashlight, and ventured into the cave. Eric followed closely behind. It was pitch black. My flashlight only gave us a few feet of visibility. David, help me. The strange voice was getting louder now. We were closing in on it. Let's turn around and get out of here, man, begged Eric. This is just creepy. There was no way I was going to turn back. I had to see who or what was calling my name. I didn't have to go much further to find out. As we rounded the bend, my flashlight fell on the source of the voice. A horribly wrinkled man, writhing in agony on the ground. His body looked completely drained of fluids, but I still recognized the face. Eric's face. A gruff, hoarse voice rose up from behind me, where I thought Eric had been standing. I warned you not to go in the cave.